Hola everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2 Hard Darkness Definitive Let's Play! Yay, 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 yay. We are back here in an episode of Pinev where we have a very tense situation going. And the tense situation is, uh, we have just won the war against Persia. I know we have because we basically, we, we can add it, this into us now. But we're thinking, should we do anything else? And this becomes a very crucial question because, um, basically this, this entails a lot of things. Because I think before we can go to war again with these with Persia, we will most likely be an industrialized nation, okay? I'm just going to put that out there right now. So before we get anything, that's going to happen. So if we were, if this is our last war of Persia before we go industrialized or westernized, then that means that we will have at max six places of production, six spaces of production that we can use to, you know, build factories and everything. Um, and my main problem with this is that I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Okay. Um, averagely, let's see. The um, British, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At least 12 in the immediate homeland areas of good production rates. Okay. Um, America, oh my goodness. One, two, th uh, this is probably about 49 or 48. I, I know the states. I know how many states are. No, a little bit less than 49, 48. Probably around 40. We'll say around like 43, 44 states they actually have to industrialize. That would definitely hurt us because, um, you know, once we industrialize, this is going to hurt us. Like, this is going to legitly hurt us. If we do not gain more states, then we won't have we won't have anything and plus we won't have the right resources for it because while we will get coal and everything we need more we need more than just coal we need iron we need this iron so this is how I'm justifying my head that we're going to just go ahead declare war add another war goal we need it this may kill me this may not we will find out um, the real area I want to get is Afghanistan and we're going to see if we can take it before um, anything bad happens. So you guys are going to completely go join them. Go join up. Um, we have lots of infamy now. So it's great to see that. But yeah, so that's basically how I'm justifying it, is that we need to expand. We're going to need to like do a lot more stuff. Um, I'm going to group up this army. I know it's going to take a lot of nutrition. I mean, it's taking 7.0 nutrition. That means how many are we losing a day? Yeah, this will reinforce the 5,000 and we'll get a bonus of, okay, no, I'm not, not really seeing how much is re-bonusing, um, but we will probably have very good statistics, um, but we just took down the capital, that's good, um, okay, we're gonna have to be worried, Persia, will you offer me what I want? <gasps> My heart just stopped! Yes! Oh yes! Yes! Oh yes! Oh my goodness! Oh man! Everyone, move back to territory. Everyone, oh okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta go to map. Yes! Okay, and this is actually not gonna be the end of the episode because, um, we can industrialize too. Um, this is what I meant. This is this is, this is exactly what I meant. I mean, we can industrialize right now and, you know, end this process, which is what we wanted to do. Do we want to get any specific technologies? Um, we definitely want this. Or we could get this. It's basically, it's basically, which one do we want to industrialize to help us out in the future? Uh, this one. This one so we can get... Fa fabric Factory will help us a lot because we have lots of wool. Okay. Okay. So, and then, okay, you know, I'm, I'm just going to stop for a second and just, like, take a moment to just look at my empire right now. Oh, man, we did it. We just put the Persians in their place. Like, there is no doubt in my mind that we just, like, smacked them and just proved their loyalty wrong. Because now we have two regions of Persia that we desperately needed. And... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I cannot express the joy right now, I feel. Um, we have approximately no cores in any of these regions. 
but we now have a good like pen jeb peneb empire this is this is going so great um i i can now industrialize i realize that this will give us access to taking large advances of us of our spherical leader wait so that means i gain exactly the same amount of tech as my spherical leader that would be great from india what will i need okay but um i i I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit. I'm just gonna like relax for a little bit because that was a tense You know, I'm gonna enjoy our last couple minutes of you know being an uncivilized nation before I civilize because this is you know Round up the usual suspects um, Honestly, this is a great moment for us. In fact, we can stop industri militaristically supporting our men as much We can go back to educational purposes and we can actually increase our mil uh, Administration efficiency by a little bit um, yeah, we, we have to enjoy this for a little bit. We have to enjoy our last minutes before we go into the real world and, you know, industrialize into a nation of power. Um, wow. Okay, I'm gonna divide up these men because they're getting lots and lots of nutrition. Probably move them back to Fort Harry. The oldest fort we have by far, and it's the best one. I, I think Fort Harry is probably the best. Fort Harry right there, everyone. Fort Harry for the win. Fort Harry for the win. So... Which is, right now, Pinev is just like finalizing, the leader of Pinev is finalizing his um, research and documents with the other leaders and the other administrators to make sure that this is the right move. He's probably playing to Allah to make sure that he's making the right path and embracing the western ideals of everything and the Germans are getting destroyed this game. Um, yeah, by a lot of things, so, okay, 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 okay. crisis is, yep, of course. Of course, does not Afghanistan want to free itself at this point? Um, Sid, um, I'm still debating if Sid should be freed. Um, I, I don't know if they earned themselves the right to yet. Um, transportation system. Transportation system. That may help us a little bit. Like, having... Wow, we just cannot build any transportation almost any of our land. Wow, that makes me feel kind of bad. But we can at least try to build some transportation. And, wow. Okay. We're just, yeah, we're just all kind of chilling out here. You know, doing our best. And, you know, Pineb looks like, Pineb looks like a big, looks like just a player right now. We have our land. We have our, um, looks. I mean, we are, th there is no way this campaign could have gone, well, actually, this, it probably could have gone better if we, like, done it the first time. We didn't have to rack up that much infamy. But you know what? This is a good substitute. Like, this is not bad. I We took a good amount of Persia, and we needed a good amount of Persia, to be honest with you. Because we needed more land of Persia's. And now that we have more land of Persia's, we can, you know, if we want to go to war with Persia in the future, which I plan to, because I need more cores. Like, I, you know, usually I might do this for petty reasons, but I just honestly don't have enough cores in my own home provinces to do much. Because now we have seven cores. Which, we're also building a fabric factory. I just remembered that. Oh, our first fabric factory. But the problem is that we don't actually have that much... Oh, shoot. We don't actually have any laborers focusing. And we can't focus on laborers. But that is awesome. We're building our first fabric factory. I want to see this, like... Th there is so much going on right now. We... I, I feel... I feel like happiness has rolled over my entire eyes. And Pineb's dream is... It doesn't look... I, I felt... Honestly, the leader of Pineb felt like the dream of India was in jeopardy. But now he sees that this was just a trial and he feels like this this, this is going to happen. This, this is honestly going to happen. Um, like I said, I'm holding off westernization just for a little bit. Because I know I'm going to have to deal with a lot of problems. Like, let me... I'm going to try to start modernizing, or at least moderating my uh, taxes just a little bit. So that I don't feel so bad when we go into... Okay, let's see. Let's get, like, zero tariffs. Because we don't want our factory to die as soon as it comes out. Yeah. Let's get down to zero tariffs. Our first factory, everyone! Pinev is finally on the eternal... Okay, and now we got the Bakurians. Yeah, Bakuristan's trying to do something stupid. Um, right now, I'm just trying to tax a little bit less because once we transfer over to that westernization, we can never go back. But we can start doing a lot more, which means, honestly, we could actually kind of colonize Africa. I just thought of that. Oh my goodness, but we have really bad literacy rate. Like, really, really bad. But we're doing as best we can. Oh uh, yeah, let's keep it at 2.2. We want to make sure we don't go anywhere else. Oh 
Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I, th this is like the greatest like moment ever. I mean, we have what we want. We can do whatever we want now. This is... Oh, just so great. I mean, soon Panera will actually be a sponsored nation to where, you know, Russia, um, basically the rest of the European powers will actually respect, even India will have to respect us, even the British will have to expect, respect us just a little bit. And I'm making sure that the French have, and the, um, yes, the French and the uh, Portuguese have not split up the empire yet and created like little India again, because sometimes they do that and that becomes really annoying. In fact, I think they've done like a recent update since last time. Because now, um, it doesn't seem like the Europeans split up the empire quite as much anymore. They don't quite, you know, always, like, I remember at the beginning of the games, they would, uh, Portugal would always split up its country, like, right over here. But now it doesn't, which is kind of cool. So, we're not go we're now going into negative infamy, or negative money. Um, is this the time? Is this a sign that we should probably do it? Do we fully embrace? Do we? Um, Yes. I believe we do. Let's do it, everyone. You all ready? Count down, everyone. Three, two, one. Westernize! <gasps> Embrace westernization! Our country is under intellectual assault by modernity and the Western world. In the fields of modern technology, industrial and military theory, the old traditions and institutions no longer serve us as they used to. Everywhere we turn, Western influence is spread like wildfire through the nation, our population, and our souls. We are to remain what we always have been, and not become something else entirely. Now is the time to assume control of our own destiny. It is, has, and always been to become apparent to leading members of an intellectual elite that the only way to turn the tide of the Western levivation is to swim with it. For, as the Sun Tetsu says, the reed that bends before the wind also offers a form of resistance. Everyone, wagons west, everyone. Wagons west. Everyone, with that, we just call we have just formed the westernization of india and i will see you guys next time